All right, here we are. This area right here, we're about to ride up on is the Tiger, Tiger Park. It's the Tiger King Park. If they moved to Oklahoma, well, it was already in Oklahoma, 80 miles from here. So y'all are all familiar in some way, shape or form with the Netflix series, Tiger King. And so they moved, I don't know, maybe 200 lions and tigers right here onto this property. And so I can't go past here. It says no trespassing, private driveway, no filming permitted, 24 hour armed security violators will be prosecuted. So they are, uh, they've got a bunch of lions and tigers just over that hill. And uh, you know, it's their own private property. They're in a, a battle kind of a philosophical well no they're in a real battle you know with PETA and, and people who want to take that right away from them so what do y'all think do you think people private citizens like me um, should be able to own big dangerous exotic animals okay I just heard I heard a, a tiger roar over there I could hear it roaring but yeah they're definitely here lions and tigers I'm a little scared y'all but um I think as long as they have control over them you know, it's just like our right to own a gun or a fast car, you know, it's an American freedom. And they're, they're in a battle over that, you know, should Americans be able to own dangerous exotic animals? I don't know, what do y'all think? So anyway, I'm just, this is just one spot along the bicycle ride. And I uh, just wanted to show y'all that because it's just right across the Red River from Gainesville, where I live. And uh, yeah, I hear them. Boy, I hear those lions and tigers roaring back there. There's bears, lions, tigers. So, if one of them gets out, don't worry, y'all. They'll get me first. They'll go after me first. I'll fight them off with my trekking pole and my air horn. And uh, I'll be just fine, I think. <laughs> as long as I have the right to choose what I can defend myself with, I don't have a problem with them having whatever animals they want. But, you know... If they were to get out, I just want to be able to know that I have the, cho the choice to defend myself. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Tiger King Park. All right, we got something else pretty cool right here too that I want to show y'all. All right, it's right here. I rode past here the other day and I thought, wow, this is neat. So, um, right here we've got a beaver dam. I can see beaver footprints but they have dammed off this area and made a pond and so the water's flowing under this road into a culvert but that's pretty cool we've got where you can see from the road serious wildlife activity beavers you know they really change the landscape with what they do uh with dams and creating ponds so ooh, i hear the lions and tigers they're right over there i can hear them roaring that's awesome yeah, that's exactly what that is. It's either a lion or a tiger. But um, yeah, we can hear them from right here. All right. We are gonna keep moving. That's pretty exciting, you know, being out here on a bicycle. And you know there's tigers and lions just on the other side of the fence. You can hear them roaring. That's pretty. That'll get your blood pumping for a bicycle ride, let's just say that. So we're making a loop around the Tiger King Park. The property's all around it, you know, they're private, but... You know, people have asked me, what would I do if one of these tigers got out and attacked me? Well, the truth is, I am prepared for that. I would win, the tiger would not get me, I would come out on top. And so that's what I, you know, have to prepare for as a cyclist now. That doesn't mean I don't think they should have tigers. I think it's awesome that they do. And to tell you the truth, if, if they would let me come in with my kids, my kids would love to see them too. We'd love to go in as a family and see this park. So we're neighbors. 